So, well, I was watching the Penguins game tonight against the Panthers, but considering they're down 5-2, there's there's no point in watching that anymore. So I might as well just switch sports. Let's talk about the Super Bowl again. And because there's been a lot of stuff that has transpired in the last 48 hours for the 49ers, and I just wanted to give my thoughts and my insights on kind of what I think is going on, if it's an overreaction. So there are three things that has been following. Uh, three or four, technically, if you count uh, the Ayuk rumors. All right, so the first thing that I keep watching and seeing is Kyle Shanahan's play calling and the option to take the ball first in overtime. And there is the you know, the hot mic of Juszczyk saying, well, I actually didn't even know. The referee said it at the beginning of the broadcast during the coin toss. Like, each team possesses the ball. It's not like the 49ers knew that, hey, if we kick a field goal, we win here. Hey, if we score a touchdown, we win here. They knew that. Like, the rules have been changed because of the Bills versus Chiefs game. So, like, everybody knew that. That was two years ago. And so, if he didn't know that, that's his own fault. There is, like, the criticism of why would Shanahan, you know, want the ball first? You always want to give the other team the ball first, you know, so your offense knows what to do, you know, have them go score first. That is a perfect thought. But if you're watching the game in real time, probably two minutes real time, Patrick Mahomes just drove down the field and kicked a field goal. Almost had a Travis Kelsey breakaway touchdown to like seal the game and win it with five seconds left in the ballgame. And so I think it was actually pretty smart for them to go offense first because if they marched the defense right back out there, the Chiefs would have taken all the momentum and they would have gone up by seven. And then instead of, you know, it being Mahomes to Hardman for the win, you know, at the very end, it that fourth down, that third down, like there probably could have been a defensive stop and the 49ers would have lost on fourth and one. You know what I mean? Plus, you got to give your defense a breather. Then the other thing that I saw too was um, the defensive coordinator just got fired. I think that's an overreaction, truthfully, because, I mean, what what can you do? Like, if anybody should get fired, uh, I don't want to say Shanahan, but it's like, the four, it's not that the 49ers defense lost the game. It's like, they kept him in it the whole time. Just Patrick Mahomes turned into Patrick Mahomes, sadly. I mean, I think it's a little premature because it's like there's a lot of, okay, we got to find the right puzzle pieces to fit to fit. His defensive scheme for that game was perfect. Like if they, he got blown out, you know, and they lost like how the Cowboys lost to the Packers, it's like, yeah, get him out of the building. But the final one was, okay, I saw it so many times where it's like, you know, should have kept feeding the ball to Christian McCaffrey, should have kept feeding the ball to Christian McCaffrey. He didn't get enough touches. It's like, Dude, if you looked at the stat sheet, 22 carries and 8 receptions, 30 plays, Christian McCaffrey had the ball. 30 plays. It's not that Christian McCaffrey sucked and he couldn't do it, but it's just like both defenses were shutting each other down. And so I wouldn't necessarily blame, oh, Christian McCaffrey needs to get the rock more. It's like, hey, where's Debo Samuel when we need him? George Kittle, where's he when we need him? Like, it sucks because George Kittle had two receptions. Two receptions for four yards. Now... His second catch was very crucial because it got the first down. But, like, he was virtually absent. Same with Ayuk. Ayuk was kind of absent, too. It's like Juwan Jennings and Chris McCaffrey were the biggest components in that game. That's just my final opinions on the 49ers and what's been unraveling the last 48 hours. Do I think they'll make it back to a Super Bowl? Absolutely. They're still the standard and the best team in the NFC by far because Eagles fell off this year. Um, Rams, uh, I think the Rams need a couple more pieces um to get back the lions i think the lions this was a big season for them but i think they might take a little bit of a step back maybe only get to the divisional next year dude the nfc is wide open still so that's my thoughts on that this all show all day no i put it on for the I mean, what are you, morning skate this morning <laughs> now. I came right over here afterwards. okay so <laughs> so we were the two shot there just <sighs> i'm just in the slot all day <laughs> Wait, one timer, baby. Ready. 